So of course we can't deal with Dada without dealing with Duchamp. Now Marcel Duchamp is a pioneer of the Dadaist movement. In the years immediately preceding World War I, Duchamp will find success as a painter in Paris, but he soon gives up painting almost entirely, explaining I was interested in ideas, not merely visual products. And the first piece we're going to look at is Nude Descending a Staircase. Now this isn't as such a Dada piece, this is actually more of a Cubist piece from that earlier painter period for Duchamp, but it is one that's going to come back and haunt us again, so I do want to cover it here. Now, this Nude Descending a Staircase number two reflects Duchamp's ambivalent relationship with Cubism. He's playing with the ideas of Cubism and what makes it Cubist. Well, what he's doing is he's adopting the limited palette of Cubist painting, but he's invigorating the figure in a state of perpetual motion. A very different effect from Picasso and Brock's analytic cubism that held figures tightly in place. What we're doing is he's mixing the ideas of cubism and the movement of futurism. So imagine unique forms in the continuity of space, the sculpture of our running friend in painted form. And that's what you're getting here, this multiple exposure almost of a nude descending a staircase. On the right, you see a nude descending a staircase and how... Uh, they do kind of play off one another as if we see multiple expo exposures as she goes down those stairs. So provoking negative reactions from even the Parisian avant-garde, the painting was rejected by the Salon de Independence for both its title and the artist's me mechanistic dehumanizing rendering of a female nude because He's taken away everything that makes that nude a nude. He's even arguably taken away the male gaze because you really can't look at it and objectify the form. You can't really look at it as a sexual form. It's just sort of a form. It's as if it's been simplified to the point of C-3PO falling down the stairs and calling it a woman. It really does change things. And remember, put yourself... In 1912, this is going to be shocking at the time. Now, the following year, it sparks controversy at the New York Armory Show, where it helped to establish Duchamp's reputation as a provocateur overseas and paving the way for his arrival in New York two years later. And we see pieces like this, where they're looking at exactly that painting as almost a political cartoon. In this case, the rude descending a staircase rush hour on the subway but they're going to call it any number of other things and the thing is from duchamp's perspective this is exactly what he's looking for he's trying to get people to think he's not just creating art to create art he's not trying to create beauty as such he's trying to get them to think we're going to see that with a lot of his other work as well being a provocateur doesn't mean simply shocking people it's it means getting people to consider a question or consider the world around him. And Duchamp is really good at it. <laughs> 